Here we go. Let's start with some vinegar. I am using 45%. I have a couple windows open. This is some serious stuff. Even though it's just vinegar, it's, well, like I said, serious. Uh, so you can use regular vinegar too. Um, so we are looking for effervescence, which is a fancy term for bubbling, which would indicate the presence of calcite, aragonite, limestone. So we're doing these white ones. These, uh, these are chunks from a septarian nodule. And then these rocks here, which are interesting. And I thought we were looking at this guy right here. I thought I saw some bubbling, so let's see what we got. Okay, so I just put all of these in one. It made more sense. I'm not seeing any bubbling. And then over here with the crystals, the transparent to translucent crystals, I'm not seeing any bubbling. What's interesting here is it, I thought maybe this would bubble, but if you look at it, it's more like an iron oxide, right? Because of the color. And this one, again, like I said, it looks like it should be limestone. If you used a rock identifier app, it would say it's limestone, but it's heavier and does not seem to be bubbling with this strong 45% vinegar. So, so it looks like we don't have any calcite or aragonite, but we're going to do an additional test. Um, and this is what I do for cleaning them. We're going to add really, really hot water, and we might see some effervescence at that time. And if I leave it mm, for a day, two, week, um, a lot of this coating, this oxidization will come off. I have a couple videos about that. So let's see what happens next. So my hands did start burning. <laughs> so I put on gloves. That's another hot tip. If you're, even if you're working with household acids, I highly recommend it. So we're adding the warm water. Ooh. Actually, this is really hot water. It's really hot that comes out of this tap. Oh, there we go, right? That's a better angle. There. Now you can see after adding the hot water, we have some bubbling. And that could indicate that we have carbonates involved, which makes sense. You can tell that they should be carbonates just by looking at them. Let's see what happens here. For instance, all right, see with these crystals. So I've suspected the crystals to be selenite gypsum, dolomite, or barite. That's what I've kind of has it, have it narrowed down to. And as you'll see, after I added the hot water with the vinegar, there is some bubbling, some activity, not much, but you can see that foggy cloud, which is making me think it's probably dolomite because there are carbonates that will not effervesce unless you add hot water, for instance, or you powderize them. Now this one is really acting up and I'm gonna have to double check what this means. <laughs> Does this mean we have calcite or aragonite or limestone? Inquiring minds want to know, so hold on. I'll be right back. All right, they're really bubbling now. Okay, here's a tip, which is going to sound silly and obvious, but I don't know, since it's newer, I'll throw it out there. I had said that I don't remember exactly what it means when you have zero reaction submerged in vinegar at room temperature versus adding hot water and getting a distinct reaction. Um, I said I thought it could be dolomite or some other carbonate. A lot of the carbonates will only react um, if exposed to the acid and hot water, or sometimes it even has to be powdered. Um, and the other is iron oxidization, uh, which I have a lot on these rocks. Whereas over here, these mass crystals are kind of reacting, but not, not nearly the same. And we don't see that ugly brown film on the top. And so I asked AI. I happen to have an app, Chatsmith, which I love. It's super easy. But I've also noticed that if you just Google it, 
the Gemini gives you really good answers and uh, then even has links to um, the papers where it derived the information, and that's free. So that's what I did, and the result is da 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 da. Yes, these are probably <laughs> dolomite or some other carbonate. Some of them are effervescing more than others. It could also be just some of that little bit of oxidization on there. But since it looks vastly different than this gross stuff, I'm going to say this indicates the likelihood of carbonate. So uh, remember that um, because we're doing the acid test or we did the hardness testing starting with, they're in here somewhere, I think. Did, oh, maybe I put them in the other one. So anyway, so that's that's the deduction here. And here, it looks like we could have some carbonates that are not calcite or aragonite, just like with these crystals, um, but also iron oxidization breaking down with the hot water. And since it's very brown like this and forming that film, that is the most likely cause of it. So when we...